Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to install old games that will not install on a Windows 64-bit uh, version of Windows 10. And I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick what that error would look like if it, uh, you know, it does happen to you. So you would just basically, you know, have your uh, CD image uh, mounted or, or you know your CD uh, disk in the in the bay, and you would just click on here, and you would get this error. So if you notice, I've done two of them on here. I got Ace Ventura, and I also have the uh, Destruction Derby 2. And as you can see, will not let me install either one of them. So what we want to do is go ahead and shoot over to this website right here. And what you're going to do is download the OTVDM uh, zip file here. So the latest version is 0 0.9.0. 0. So go ahead and download that and strike that to your system. And then what you want to do is just go ahead and go to that uh, folder that has that file. So this is super simple. All you're going to do is just go ahead and install the file. So you're just going to double click on that file and install it. Once that is done, go ahead and maneuver to the folder that has a program inside. The default is going to be this name right here. So once you've done that, the easiest option for you is going to be to just go ahead and click on install no console and that's going to install the program in the background and what would it will do is anytime you install the older software on your uh, windows 10 machine it should uh you know install it it doesn't probably work for everything but i've tried it with like four or five things and it is working so now for example now that we've done that simple as that was now you can go in here we're going to go back into the same uh, disk we tried to install earlier and when i double click on that setup execute as you can see, it is loading and it will let you install the game without an issue. Now for the Ace Ventura, it also works. Uh, heads up with that one. I'll make a video for that one later. It does take another a couple of steps to get it to work correctly, but you will be able to install it right off the bat. Also, as you can see, it is installing on there. And what I'll do to make it easy, I'm going to post the link to the other program that you need to get that working correctly, which is a quick quick time. Uh, version made especially for this so with that uh, that is it for this video so you should now be able to go ahead and install the uh, older applications on your windows 10 system uh, if you guys make use of this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do so and we'll catch you guys on the next video